Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. And tonight, as you read in the description, I am doing a blind flight. Not a double blind, because nobody sent this to me. Uh, but a blind flight of 2XO. They have four expressions out right now. I think there's one more supposed to be coming out pretty soon. I don't know what that's called, but... Uh, that one should be hitting stores pretty soon, at least before the end of the year. And I think it's supposed to be higher aged whiskey. I don't have much information on these whiskeys because one, they don't give you that much information on what's inside the bottle. But I did hear that these blends are between five and six year old blends. The American whiskey, I would assume maybe at a lower, uh, maybe a lower aged blend. I'm not, I'm not positive on it, but it is. I believe maybe finished in American oak um, or it's just aged in American oak so it's an American oak whiskey so probably just aged in American oak again couldn't really find too much information on this for me I'm just putting it in here I kind of lightly put them in the glass so that hopefully I couldn't tell by color like which one is which and between these two looking at them side by side I can't really tell which one is which. So these right here are double oat. This is also a double oat. That's why I'm assuming it's finished in the American oak, or is it? Is it the? Um, is 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 it only American oak? It just says American oak on it. Again, um, the two XO meaning twice oat. So two times oat. Uh, we have the Phoenix, which was the first release. Uh, we also had the Innkeeper, which is the second release, the second uh, following year. And, and then we have the American Oak and then now the Tribute Blend. Um, all of them have their uh, story. I won't get into them. Look at the past uh, videos that I did and they will tell you what they are. On the bottom of these, I have different color dots which coincide with which, which of these are in this. I do not know which one they are put them on this carousel so that you don't see think that i did it in order or anything i'm going to pull them off one by one put them on the side move this carousel because i don't want to knock it over uh because it's so easy it's so easy to get knocked over and i i think i, I think i saw a video once uh when uh, somebody was spinning and then the whiskey flew off uh, i forgot which video that was oh oh yeah i remember and speaking of adhd whiskey uh, he and I will be doing a battle really soon, uh, October 4th, so tune in for that. That's going to be awesome. He's already got my samples. I'm uh, patiently waiting for his samples to come in so that we can duke it out. Uh, it's going to be a fun battle. Uh, I've I've been uh, curious on, on how, with this point system, how different channels and how they react to maybe the different whiskeys that they're tasting. For him, I kind of set it up uh, uh, to where at least the, the, the samples that I got him, uh, that it's a little bit more, it's, there's there's different ones that it's going to kind of challenge his palate a bit. So I can't wait for that one. That one's going to be, that one's going to be actually really fun. So make sure you tune in for that. Um, also, uh, in, this, in the description, I have a kind of a hope. Um, we have, uh, I don't know if you remember, we're coming up on the two year anniversary where we did a, a, uh, kind of like a charity fundraiser type thing, fundraiser type thing. I want to call it a charity cause it's, it's, uh, something more important, it, it, more important than I can describe. Um, Manny and Anthony, uh, they, they were creating this film, a documentary about, uh, 17 other of, of Anthony's fellow uh, Marines who he went out with to Afghanistan who didn't make it home. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the red shirt and my gunny hat right now because uh, this is pretty serious uh, for me, uh, hits home. Uh, but they're doing this, this, this movie and two years ago we did a fundraiser for them um, to kick it off and we were the first ones actually to, to start that off and then they did a, on November 10th, uh, two years ago, Two, well, two years on this November 10th, they they kicked off their uh, journey to go to visit again these families, talk to them again, interview them, and then they're putting it all together now 
Well, they're at the tail end of this uh, documentary. They're getting it. They, I know it's uh, I'm pretty sure uh, it's entered into cans right now. So they're going to be uh, going uh, be uh, having that that movie in there, and that's going to be uh, pretty cool. There's a um, but they're, like I said, uh, they're right now they're on the, the finishing, the, the post, all that stuff and putting that stuff together. Uh, we raised a little over $6,000 for them. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they, they need a little bit more help. So they have these movie posters that they pre-printed out. They only got 50 of them. So if you're able to, uh, no pressure, uh, if you're able to, please uh, donate. Uh, it's $100 and then you get the poster. Uh, for those of you that donate from this channel, as well as that poster that they're going to get to you, um, I will give you a this flight right here. I will put put a flight together and I will send it to uh, uh, send it to you. Um, I will do well. I'll put it together and then uh, if if how many people uh, actually donate, um, I will uh, do on the next live. I will do a um, a wheel. And I will figure out who gets the flight. So I know it's a it's a steep ask, a uh, hundred dollars. I mean that's not easy. Um, I sent mine today, and um, I'm getting my poster. So can't wait for that. Uh, I really appreciate everybody who supports the channel. And this is one of those things where we started with them in the beginning, and we we supported them in the beginning. Let's let's support them at the end. I know it's a big ass again. If you can, uh, no pressure. No, and of course, nobody feels pressure on that, but uh, up to you. Uh, if you can, uh, please uh, donate to that. And in the description will be one, the video to their Facebook video where they talk about how you can also use it as a um, uh, tax deductible uh, and um, where to donate. Um, I'll also have their Venmo or PayPal. And in the comments, let me know if you did. I will make sure with them and then I'll put your name in the wheel to, to have this flight right here. Um, and I will get it to you as well as uh, they'll get you their, their, their pre, uh, I guess, pre, pre, pre uh, movie poster, which uh, they have a limited, limited amount. I think I only have 50, well, 49, cause I'm getting mine. So um, please, if you can. All right, back to the whiskey. Really appreciate you, everybody out there who supports the channel. All right, so these are all mixed up, spinning around, spinning around. I don't, I don't know what colors they are on the bottom. Yeah, um, I could show you, but then I'd have to, uh, you know, probably see the bottom, and I don't want to do that. So you'll see at the end. Uh, so let me show you each bottle one by one. Uh, this is the Phoenix blend. Everybody. Uh, liked it loved it you can still find them though on the shelves which is pretty cool uh you got the american oak and um, i'll turn my head and hopefully you can see that i i'm not looking okay so um that's what the dots look like they're different colored ones for each one so that's the way that's gonna work all right everything set up uh, move these bottles okay cool all right, so I don't know what's, what color is on the bottom. Through the glass, I can see only white dots because um, it's the sticker part that sticks to the bottom. So let's get these swirled around a bit. And I'm going to call this A, B, C, D because, again, I don't know where which one of these go to which. And then I'm going to taste through them and then let you know what I think. So here we go. This is A right here. So look at that. Uh, it's always uh, all of these have always coated the glass very well, which I liked the flavors were really, you know, pretty nice again The only issue I had was What's in the glass, you know, um, mash bill age all that stuff uh, Some people look at these and they're like, oh man, you know, like it's not dark enough or it's not lighted or you know it, it, Everybody has their little thing on on what they expect from what they're getting and what they want to know about their whiskey that they're drinking me I just like the basics, you know, just just what's in the bottle. Whoops, look at that. Already wasted a drop. Can't do that. <sighs> yeah, I mean, just as I remember and watch it be the uh, the American and I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, a really nice tone, really nice aroma. Um, from what I remember, it's, 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 it's always been that way with these. These have always been really nice. Here's B. 
Again, look at that. That one actually looks like it's coating the glass a little bit more, doesn't it? All right. Mm, a little bit more of a musty flavor on, on, on the nose right here. This one's a little different. This one seemed a little brighter. This one seemed a little bit more like like aged or dusty. Hmm, interesting. Here's the next one, covering it up. Uh, let's see, what does that look like? Okay, same thing. I mean, really good on definitely coating the glass. I can't wait to see how it coats the palette. Ooh, really light, really light, like a sand, like a like a like a, like a dust. Yeah, this was dusty dark. This is kind of a, a little bit sweeter. This one has like a like a like you were saying like had sandpaper or something that little bit of that dust got in your nose. Not as dark, not as rich as this one, and this one seems a little more uh, maybe sh sweeter, fruitier. All right, now let's go to glass D. The D in the house. Look at that. They all coat the glass really well. So it's really tricky to see like what would be the difference. I mean, I'm. I don't know like what two different barrels are. It's two twice double oat, right? Double oat, right? But this is the only one that says American. So was that in the beginning or was that the end? Again, um, maybe I can find out that information. Maybe it's a, I, I, I didn't look because I didn't. I did do a look, see to see if I could figure out if there was any age or or, or any, any information on the whiskey. Couldn't find anything, so I just kind of skipped this one. I didn't really go and uh, do some investigative work because I probably would have not found out anything. But it is what it is. Uh, this one's a little bit more plasticky, a little bit more... I guess it, I mean, if it was like plastic fruit, it, but it has a fruit note in there a little bit. You, you get a little bit more sense of the alcohol inside of uh, this glass right here. A little bit more stringent. A little bit different. If I was going off the nose, this would be my least favorite. This would be my favorite. Uh, this one would be uh, second, third, and fourth. So it would look like this. First, second, third, and fourth. I, I just like the richness, the, the darkness of this one. And um, hopefully it's hopefully it's the uh, this one because I do have a backup of this one. I don't have a backup of these. I I, I accidentally bought a backup of this innkeeper um, because of uh, the information or lack thereof. Uh, I wasn't gonna buy any more of these, but then man, you know what? These bottles look so pretty, right? <laughs> Let me go back to A and let's uh, let's take a taste of these and, and go through them. Yeah, I mean it's nice, it's fruity, it's it's it's, it's sweet. It's there's really it's it's really approachable. Yeah, just like what I remember. I couldn't tell you which one of these that was. Cuz right now, I haven't tasted these. I've only tasted these. So, these are kind of uh like I and I don't want to hear about neck pours cuz I did this. There's no more neck pours. See that? So, but th this one's nice. It's really fruity, dark, rich, has, um, flavor doesn't last that long um, on this one, uh, but, but it does coat the mouth uh, very well. And it's really nice, really sweet. Uh, something that's very approachable. So I, I, I matches the nose. Uh, I think that's right now how I, how I would fit that. It, it, whatever you're smelling is what you're tasting. I'm hoping like, so, this one doesn't taste like the nose. Cleanse palette. As you can see also, I closed my eyes when I took the uh, little sip because I didn't want to see the bottom of the glass and then know what I was drinking. So if, if it looks weird that I close my eyes when I'm drinking, it's so that I don't cheat, I guess. I don't know. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. Again, it, it actually, at like the nose, it has like an aged flavor profile. It, it, the taste is, matches the nose. It, ha, it has that dirty, um, oaky flavor, a uh, little bit drying, a little bit different uh, drying. So this, this one, I would assume 
that maybe it, it's, it's taken on a little bit more of that tanneky oak. But again, so far, I'm, I would still prefer it over this, and it, but it's not overly drying. It's just a different type and what it leaves behind is like, it feels like it's an aged flavor profile. So that one's pretty good. I really like that one. I like them both. Uh, this one's a little bit more fruity. This one's a little bit more whiskey, oak, leather type flavor profile. Getting my water in. Can't wait to see uh, when I do A and B, when I, what, what, which one's better. I'm just trying to explain them a little bit. All right, here goes Class C. Cheers, everybody. Hmm. That one's different. I mean, it, of course it's different. It's four different uh, pours, but... Hmm. That one's, like, really drying on the palate. Didn't look like that way on the glass. It actually looked pretty good. It really coated the glass very well, and it's a little bit, uh, a little bit hotter. Has a little bit more, a little bit lighter oak. I, w I mean, I would probably, go yeah. I hope this ain't the American because then this would um, kind of line up, and I don't want you guys to think that I put them in the order. I didn't. This would be by chance. Wouldn't it be crazy? Because you see me spin it. If it actually went in order. That is, that is crazy. I'm, I'm only taking one sip and then this my first impression, that's it. I'm not gonna go through each one and then try to figure it out and talk it out. So this is kind of a first impressions flake right here. Um, when I A and B them to give you what, what I like the, the best, uh, right now so far this is in a lead and it's almost in the same order. Let's see if I can get past that plasticky like kind of aroma to it. it 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 just like if there's some fruit there but it's really like astringent type yeah cheers everybody hmm all right let me go a and b now um now that i've tasted it tasted this it each of these, oddly enough, this one doesn't match the nose. Like I, I get a, a nice sandpaper uh, sweetness to it. Um, just, a, just, a, just a little di different than these right here. Uh, but it was still, I think, in, in that vein, I guess, of flavor. This one right here is, it has an, an astringent flavor profile, taste to it, waxy. Uh, maybe I'm still thinking of this one. It didn't dry as much as this one because it's still there, but the flavor is gone. The flavor is gone. Um, it didn't leave anything behind. This one left a little bit more. This right now is my least favorite, um, just by first impression. But let me see how once, I'm not going to cleanse my palate after each one. I'm, all I'm going to do is just go through taste, taste, taste. Um, I'm going to go in reverse order because the ones I like are over here. So... Not that I don't like these. It's, it's just different right now. Maybe it tastes different without the influence of the others. Who knows? So, cheers. Something about it. Uh, it's, it's definitely off profile. This could be the American Oak one. Uh, really uh, gets, gets a, a, a small burst of flavor in the beginning. Immediately kind of almost immediately there's really not too much of a finish to it see, see this one's th th i could tell this one's different than this one this this might be the american if i had to guess uh maybe because it maybe it is younger i don't know why they put american on this one and then the other ones were something different maybe they just had excess Ac excess hmm. cheers Mm, that's different. That was different. Uh, it's, you know, now it's blending with these other ones. So it's actually changing the flavor a little bit right here. Almost, I almost had a Tennessee vibe to it. And uh, the Tennessee that I won't say that a lot of people uh, crap on. But that's kind of what I'm getting. 
maybe because it's blendier, but I like that. Um, it is not vitamins, but it, there is that before the vitamin flavor that you get, there's a kind of like a sweet prune, I guess, type flavor to it. If you if you have if you un, if you know that from those type of products, and I, I'm almost positive none of these are are that. Uh, but I guess the way it's blending with this American oak or these American oaks, uh, one of these, I first thought it was this one, but this one tastes the oldest. Same order. All right. So same order. Uh, nothing changed on that. I, I just liked this one the most. This one came in second. Uh, this one came in third. It, it, it had a little bit more fruit to it. This one just filled all the different holes that these other ones have. So let's go ahead and figure it out. I'm going to go with my least favorite first. Man, this is the hard part because if, if, if it's like the newer ones or, or I, I don't know. It, I guess it's not really the hard part. This is orange right here. Um, you can't tell, but it is because there's a yellow one too. So let me see. Yeah, that's orange. Um, it's the American. Whew. All right. So there's something, there's something happening here or not happening, right? Um, yeah, this one right here is just, no, it is not my, it's not my, it's not my jam. It's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. Hold on, let me make sure. It, it just has a waxy, definitely on the nose, like a waxy fruit. <laughs> That's all I can describe. It has like almost like a soapy nose to it. So different than all these other ones. This is the cheapest one, by the way. This one comes in at a whopping $40. So if you're able to find it, um, I mean, I mean the bottle. You can't deny that uh, with the with the packaging and all that other stuff. It looks it looks like a nice bottle. Is it my favorite? No, it is definitely not my favorite. Um, I'm glad I can at least try it, and I'm glad at that price point that. And uh, you know, of course, my patrons they're definitely going to be able to try this, and they can give me their thoughts on this. So, this is a third. This is third place, and it's the. Uh, it's the green dot right here. I do not know which one has the green dot, and it's this one, third place. Wow. <laughs> but I did like it though. I, I I did like it. There there was nothing like wrong with it. it. It just a little bit different. A little bit different. So far, I like the originals better. Definitely like the originals better. So these ones were crossed. Um, I don't know how that happened, but it happened. You saw it, it happened. You saw me twirling it, so I'm not I'm not doing that to, to but this is my third in third place. I mean it's 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 okay. It's okay. Um, if you want to learn more about the tribute blend, I believe that is the family crest of Dixon Deadman, his family crest. Uh, you can read up more about it. Uh, go through, uh, go to their website and check them out. And what is it? Second place. It's pink. Let's see what pink is. This is yellow. The Phoenix is second place, which makes the innkeeper yellow oh that's not working okay there it is yellow and yellow see there it goes and it was all yellow so look at that how it worked out my favorite is the innkeeper so if you see the innkeeper out there if you're gonna don't take my word for it if you want to try of course go out by all four. Uh, for me, the innkeeper is the one that has a little bit, feels feels more aged. Feels like it has more, there's more nuance to it, more flavor to it. Yeah, 
it changes. It changes drastically when combined with uh, these other whiskeys. Again, other people are going to be like, oh, that's a bottle. That's a fresh bottle crack. I've had a lot. I mean, I've had a few different types of whiskeys, and there are a bunch of them where I just cracked it open, poured it, and I'm just like, oh, wow, this is really good. And for me to do this blind, and um, I kind of kind of felt that way with, with these right here in the beginning, where I was like, okay, these are, these are ones I can sip. Yes, they don't give you any information. They don't give you, let me, let me see, does that even matter right now? I'm about to end the video, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you're one of those people who want to know what's in your glass, then yes, um, these probably have that, uh, they're going to have a mystique about them because it's going to be very hard to uh, figure out what's in these glass, in, in these bottles. But, here it is, everybody. First place, Innkeeper. Second place, Phoenix. Third place, uh, the Tribute Blend. And uh, American Oak. Yeah, man, that's that's just not my jam, but it might be yours. Um, these are just first impressions, just going through it and not, you know, no cuts, no anything. This is just what it is. So hopefully you appreciate that. If not, hey, can't I can't. I cannot please everybody. Um, I mean, I could try, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, thank you for your support, everybody. Please, 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 if you can, uh, go to the description. Um, uh, uh, 17 Carvings is is the, the movie. Well, it's not the movie. It's it's called, it's called something else. Sorry, Manny. Sorry, Anthony. Right now, I am kind of have this on my brain, so it's kind of... Um, it's going to be called something else, but it is, it is from the uh, 17 Carvings uh, series. And uh, this documentary is going to be freaking awesome. There's going to be, there, I mean, so much emotion in that. Um, I have, I had the trailer. I watched the trailer already. And it's just so gut-wrenching. It's, it's, it's so awesome uh, what they're doing to bring to life real-life situations, things that, that have happened and... Um, just the journey, just the journey that they, you know, these families had to go through the processes and it's going to, it's going to pull at your heartstrings. And, and, um, I've got, I've gotten to meet all the families, uh, at least most of them. Um, I did a hike with them over there at Camp Pendleton and whoa, I was scared when I was going to do that hike at, at Camp Pendleton because uh, I hadn't, I'm a, I'm a Marine, but I haven't done, uh, something that physical in so long but then i saw other people doing it and i was like okay i'm gonna do it uh so i did it and it was and it was just amazing to meet everybody um those i mean the, those families are in my prayers every night and um everybody red tomorrow tomorrow's friday uh remember everybody deployed so um love you guys thank you for your support check the description and um support if you can if you can but um, yeah, I'm going to take my favorite. To cheers to you all. Cheers to all the Marines, all the Air Force, Navy, the Coast Guard, anybody who's deployed right now um, to Viviana. Love you, baby. Um, my daughter, she's out there uh, serving our country. So uh, cheers to you all. Cheers to your families if they're out there uh, support and defend uh, our, our, our way of life. So love you guys. Thank you for your support. Cheers to you all. Cheers to everybody deployed. Cheers, everybody. I closed my eyes on accident. Yeah, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more rich in flavor and tone. Um, let me go with the Phoenix. Let me. I mean, it's right there. It's right there. I mean, so close. A, a, a one and two are so close. I think e either one of these, uh, you can't go wrong. These right here, maybe they need to open up. I, I didn't have, I didn't say that on these where they have to maybe open up. These ones, I think, were just right off, right off the bat. Just, I thought were nice. I just, my quarrel was, I just wish they, you know, gave us a little bit more information. But I digress, and I don't want to keep this video going. But I love you all. Thank you for your support again. Thank you, Patreons, for everything that you do for this channel. And um, yeah. This flight, if you want to try this flight, donate. You'll get a poster. It's $100. Donate. 
you'll get a poster and you'll get a chance to win this flight right here uh, with me. Just make sure you comment in uh, my comments and then let me know that you donated to, to, the, to, the, to the film. And um, however I put the, um, in the description, you'll see how the ways you can donate. And then also you'll see the, the link to the video where they're letting you know how you can uh, get a tax exemption from it. So appreciate you all. Have a great morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. And I'll see you on the next one. And uh, ADHD whiskey, I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you. All right. Cheers, everybody. Love you.